how's it going everybody welcome back to another episode of caswell customs Vinny here and uh you guys saw our last video uh we hydro locked the truck um haven't started it since we just got it in the trailer got it out finally got the brakes and tires back on washed it up a little bit yesterday but the main goal for today is getting this intake off getting all the water out making sure there's no more water in the cylinders and then we are upgrading to a new intake manifold from Jegs and going to a 102 millimeter intake throttle body, which is gonna be awesome. Should help us really gain some more power, uh, which the truck desperately needs. So uh, we're gonna be getting this ripped out, make sure the truck's all good and healthy and getting that installed. So check it out. saw so much stuff coming out of there. Okay, so we've got all the injectors out, got the fuel rail off, so now it's just time to go put the other new intake together. We're gonna go put the other intake together and throw it in. So here is the new intake manifold we got. Now, it's meant for an LS1 and LS2, I believe. Uh, I gotta double check that. But uh, found it on Amazon. It is, he said, Jags, um, but got a great deal because it came with not only the intake, but also the fuel rails. So, huge plus. All that out of there all the fittings so there's a bung in the rear along with four on the bottom so and it's got cathedral ports which is the main key that's what's important so I'm gonna get this uh, put together so here are the fuel rails like I said it came with it came with the foot fittings and uh, six and fittings so uh, let's uh, go ahead and start getting the fuel rails put together and I also got a new throttle body, and the throttle body is 102 millimeter. Look at that big bad boy. So, link all these in the description, but let's get this thrown together. Let me get you guys all caught up on where we are, because kind of just started doing some stuff, slowly acquiring things over the week, but uh, I think we got mostly everything figured out. So, um, got it pretty much all put together. Fuel rails on, fittings on, new injectors in, um, new throttle body, right coupler. Uh, this is 102 millimeter to 86 millimeter to fit my k and um, intake horn. So, uh, map sensor we've got back here. We've got all these bungs taken care of. So we've got one for the oil catch can, one for 
this thing, which we're about to show you what we're gonna do for that. And then the front one is for the vacuum line to the brake booster. I'm waiting on some parts for this to go to the fuel line. But uh, this, we gotta get a part off this. For this, there is this piece right here. And so what I'm gonna try and do is just drilling it out to get it um, off so we can then use this bolt. I'm gonna get a longer one. Bend that, bolt it to there, and then that way it's lined up in about the same spot. I really don't know what this is. I'm gonna look it up and figure it out. But um, obviously it was lined for a reason, so we're gonna keep it, make it work with this. And so then we've got a 5 16 quick disconnect to a 6 and We're gonna do the hose to one of those bungs in the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and start drilling this out, get this all together, and then go get it in the truck. All right, well, me being an idiot, I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but all I ended up doing was just hacking off the end of the fuel rail, cutting it up, because, you know, we're not using it again, and got it to the point that it's still really hot. Um, well, I've just got this piece, so now I can bend this, uh, hopefully go through that hole, if not drill a new hole, and get this to go on the fuel rail right there and then we can mount all that stuff so uh, that's my fix you know if I'm not using that fuel rail not really worried about saving it uh, the old intakes just full of dirt and crap and grime so that thing's junk um, I don't even think I'm gonna sell anything off of it maybe the throttle body and throttle body spacer but even then I don't think that's worth it so it's pretty much junk um, but yeah, got this piece off. Now let's uh, bend it, get it mounted. Woo! And now we've got that nice and flat. So should be able to get it to fit nicely right there. So I have determined that the best way to get this to fit is to actually angle that bracket so it's not contacting the fuel rail or anything like that, but we're still good getting this down into there. Um, I put this on actually before I bolted it up because I don't know how, if you're really even be able to slide this up and off. Probably make contact here, but it should come off, but no more contact, that's all lined up. So let's go start fitting it up in the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all fit up. Pop that bad boy out. So we had to make one change. Um, as you can see, this is now capped and that fuel line's not there anymore. Um, because of the alternator, and this is what I saw in one of the videos I saw online, um, I'll, I'll tag his video in this part because I would not have been able to figure this out without him. Um, have to block off here because the alternator comes right here. So this fitting comes out too far. So we went ahead and relocated it to the rear. Now instead of our um, fuel line coming in here, I'm gonna run the fuel line from there to that one up there where it's free and clear of obstacles. So I'm gonna use some more of this with some uh, and fittings and get this all done. Um, all I'm waiting on is really Amazon to show up with that one bung for underneath and then I can throw this bad boy in. So uh, dude, Amazon, get here any minute. I'm ready to throw this bad boy in, fire up. So just finished making that change. So we've got that going to this line going back to here to our fuel connect so everything is in like i said I'm really just waiting on amazon to show up so i can get that one bung 
that hole filled and then the truck is getting its new intake okay so still waiting for amazon but i went ahead and got all my hoses hooked up so saw i hooked that this one up earlier to go to that uh, this is for the brake booster this is for my catch can or your oil return line and then just wait for that bomb all right so i actually just flopped these two i realized i had them on this side but it's because it was upside down so i had to have them on that side so that's all taken care of right amazon just got here they just dropped it off we're getting it fit in and then we can throw it in the truck let's go so we are gonna install all these uh, gaskets pretty much they just fit right in all these gaps so we're gonna get all these put in um, like I said we got our bung fit in so I'm gonna throw all these in and we're gonna throw it in the truck So this bracket's on the back of the engine and it actually blocks that fuel uh, line between the two fuel rails. So I just went ahead and unbolted it. Um, there's like this plug thing, but you can see straight through it. So it's not blocking anything. I think it's just so it doesn't twist. I think this is just on here to help the factory intake stay like lined up. So I'm taking it off. Um, if that's wrong, that's gonna do something wrong to my engine and you know about it, leave it in the comments, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So we're taking it off. Oh, and it is a 16 millimeter bolt. So we've got it in. Now we're just starting to bolt everything up. Um, because of the way that the engine harness is, it kind of gets stuck going over top. I'm not a big fan of that. I've seen some people route it underneath. The problem is getting the map sensor to the rear makes it pretty difficult, along with still having these plugs up here. So. I'm simply just going to leave it off to the side here. Yeah, it's not as clean of a look, but, you know, I'm looking for performance with some, you know, good look, but I just want it to all work. So this is what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get this all set and ready to go and uh, bolt it down. Okay, so we got, um, you know, those gaskets put on there. Now we're tightening the intake actually to the engine. So it comes with all these little Allen screws with uh, lock washers. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, get this bolted down. All right, everything's back together, bolted up, um, tightened on, plugged in. So I'm gonna come in here, got all of our injectors hooked back up. Um, got this plugged back in, map sensor in the rear plugged in. And I do have to get that back on. That's simple enough. Uh, intake horn back on so everything else is good so let's go uh prime the fuel system so obviously there's no fuel in those fuel rails so we got to just turn the ignition um to the run but not start it yet because there's going to be no fuel in there and my battery's dead <laughs> that's what i was worried about so this thing's been sitting for a couple weeks um and because i have the uh little six controller for my lights and everything always drawing power it's not enough to wear it out like normally but sitting for a month it'll wear it down so let's get the jumper cables and jump this he's <laughs> alive All right, so it's the next day and it's snowing here. Look at this, this is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, it's not snowing in the UP, which kind of sucks. Like, I need snow in the UP. Like, I mean, I'm happy about this, but I need snow up there so we can go riding. But um, jump start in the truck. Uh, battery's completely fried from sitting for about a month. Um, tried showing you this last night, but it was pretty dark. But um, basically, got uh, everything fit up, everything plugged in um, this morning. Um, I actually had to fix some problems because I wasn't getting brake boost pressure or brake vacuum pressure, so I actually had to move that clip because I didn't have it on, so I think it was leaking out of there. So that's tight, brake pressure's back. Um, the third injector on the driver's side, one of the prongs actually got bent, so the plug wasn't seating in there. Got that bent back, fixed, plugged on, so everything's good, plumbed. So yeah, we're gonna get uh, this charge back up and then go take it for a rip.
All right, one more thing I forgot to tell you guys about. Um, I actually got my vinyl cutter working, so I was able to do decals on the bed, kind of like where the four by four stickers normally are. So let me know what you think of that in the comments. Uh, also, if you want a vinyl decal and you think we should start selling them, go ahead and let us know in the comments or send us a DM on Instagram and um, maybe we'll start doing that. So uh, yeah, truck's looking good. Running again. Let's go take it for a rip. Right, so um, we're pulling out of D19. This is like a 55 mile an hour road. And I'm just gonna see how it uh, gets up and goes. feels good um, definitely gonna have to tune it but I don't want to tune it until I cam it put a new stall torque converter and re-gear uh, just not be worth the money so for right now this is great but uh, definitely more upgrades to come for this truck so many things we want to do coming in 2021 so please subscribe to the channel if you want to see what's happening with this truck we're going above and beyond for this pretty you know casual pre-runner build you know long-term venture cage but right now i mean this is a nice daily driver pre-runner so if you want to follow along subscribe to the channel as always like the video and i'll see you in the next one you stole my heart of gold after my silver soul can you